everyone welcome back to another patreon vlog as always thank you all so much for supporting my patreon and the youtube channel it just means the world to me um, you'll see that i started working on a new pattern called the cold brew socks and i'm actually frogging my dark rainbow socks that i started a while back so i could steal the needles <laughs> um, so that's what i'm doing here i'm just frogging out the little bit that i had um, I'll put it away and probably restart the sock later, but for now I wanted the needles and got those all ready to go and sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Uh, but I spent some time filming a quick tutorial or a little demonstration on how I do the slip stitches for this pattern. It's going to be really fun. Um, and then I dug out my husband's GoPro that I bought him like, I don't know, six years ago maybe for fishing. Um, he's used it a handful of times and I was like, you know what? There's gotta be a better way than trying to set my phone up awkwardly with like my double chin holding it while I'm knitting to get a point of view video um, while I'm knitting or while I'm dying or whatever the case may be. And so this was me testing out my husband's GoPro. Now granted, the lighting in my living room was terrible. I was just sitting on the couch watching TV um, and the GoPro is quite old, so I'm not sure how great the quality will be under good lighting, but again, just testing it out and playing. So I spent a lot of time just sitting and working on the sock. You'll see I've got the heel done, which is really exciting. I've got a handful of testers already working on the pattern and I'm shooting to release it at the beginning of April. Um, so make sure that you keep your eyes out for it. Um, there is likely going to be just some fun happening as a thank you for being a Patreon or a member. Um, so yeah, like I said, keep your eyes open. I will be sure um, to give you all the details first. out today miss jazz should we open up the back door and get some fresh air in what do you think you gonna watch out there what Thank you. 
Good morning. It's Monday, President's Day, and there's no school today, so my kids are home, still in bed. My husband also has the day off. I have to work, and I decided to get up and put on some makeup today because sometimes you just need to feel like human. Um, I've got my coffee brewing, I've got the yarn drying, and so hopefully that'll be totally dry by the end of today after my work day, and I can get that all skeined up and ready to go. Um, I started intermittent fasting again and so that means I'm drinking my coffee black this morning which is going to be real hard for me because my favorite part about drinking coffee is the cream that goes in it if I'm being totally honest so we're going to try to drink it black I've got a Bones coffee K-cup got a little bit of sugar-free cream or syrup so fingers crossed We'll see how this goes. I need to make it till like 11 before I can have my good coffee. I survived my fast and my black coffee and treated myself with a yummier coffee over the lunch hour. And then I wanted to try to do something where I make a little something fun with the swatch from January's Glitter and Glitter Club. Um, this is potentially going to be included for the next recipients, but we shall see. Um, but essentially I want to make like a coaster or something fun like that using that swatch. So I took some photos, imported it into Photoshop, corrected some of the colors, and then we're going to try to print it out and see if we can sublimate it on those coaster blanks. Okay, so I've got a page printed out here, and these are the little coaster blanks that I purchased on Amazon. Um, they go in your car, so they've got this really nice rubber backing, um, and then they'll go in your cup holder in your car to kind of keep it from getting gross and sticky, and plus it'll be super cute. So what we're going to do is lay these down, and then we'll tape them and everything, um, and then I'll run some tests, get my sublimation or my heat press out, um, yeah, tape these on here, heat press them, and then hopefully the idea is that this knitted design will then be on the front of these little car coasters. So that is the plan. Otherwise, I did pick up some other type of coasters, and I haven't even opened these to look at them yet. Okay, these are your standard like coasters for putting on a table or desk and so they are a bit larger if I were to do these I would have to make bigger prints but I really like the idea of putting these in your car I think it'd be really cute um, but I also got these to play around with so experimentation is happening <laughs> so excited with how these turned out. How fun. And you know what? They were like so easy. Um, I think the hardest part was knitting the swatch and then taking a photo of it and then editing, editing it so it worked out. Um, this opens the door to so many more ideas. Like I would love to make more of these out of like popular colorways. Um, I could see Bunny Slope being one. Um, what if 
we did like big coasters or like a set of coasters with different colorways. What if there were mouse mats or mouse pads? <sighs> so many ideas. Um, yeah, I'm really excited now and I'm super pleased with how they turned out. And I hope that the recipients love them too. There will be a few extra, so maybe I'll toss um, some extras and some prizes for the spring along, knit along, or the make along that we're doing over on Discord, or I don't know, just some other fun prizes. Maybe do some drawings in the Patreon group, who knows? Um, but yeah, I am so pleased with how they turned out. today it is 2 22 22 tuesday and i picked the coldest day of the year so far to go into the office because <laughs> that's what i do so not much content from me today but i'll try to wrap it up at the end of the day and then i'll get this published tomorrow i spent an entire day working at the office and had the most delicious lunch and had to stop and get some of these views it's so fun to see uh, downtown just from up here. It's so cool. The weather was bitter cold though and it was kind of cloudy but anyway I'll try to get more as we head into summer but then I got home and found this gorgeous skein of long dog yarn waiting for me and yeah that's all I got. So I'm going to leave you there. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. It was so nice chatting with you. And thank you again so, so, so much for supporting the channel and supporting me and Lofty Loops Yarns. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.